1950s, friends and family paid their respects at Jesu Church. A lot of Wisconsin politicians credit Lucy for getting them interested in politics. The guy who really knew how to build a party was Pat Lucy. So just the fact that I had a party to run for governor from, I owe to Pat Lucy. A lot of the people who were in this church were people that he brought into government. As a delegate. Governor Lucy was 96 years old. Togo Trains wanted $66 million from the state, but today the state said no way. Talgo builds high-speed rail cars. It says the state breached its contract when the high-speed rail line between Milwaukee and Madison was canceled. So Talgo now plans to sue. It's a disturbing trend, drinking games on the internet. Courtney Garish is here with what you need to know to protect your kids. Courtney. Mike and Carol, viral videos and drinking games are nothing new, but put them together and you have a recipe for disaster. It's an honor to be a neck nominee. I'm going to nominate. For my neck nomination. It's called neck nomination. The idea, which started in Australia and has spread around the world, is to record yourself necking or slamming a drink, then challenging your friends to do the same. Well, I was nominated. That was literally all you saw for a couple of weeks, was just like videos after videos. Haley Harding knows all about it. She took part in the game when it took over her Facebook feed. There were so many. I thought it was just fun and funny. And Everybody seemed to be doing it, so why not? We're on the white sand beaches of Wisconsin. So she took the challenge. Seven degree weather? Somebody said it's always about like one-upping the person that did it before you. OK, let's go. Why not just make it something really, really funny? <laughs> but not all the videos try to be funny. Some are just plain gross. We got a rock. And others are deadly. Dr. Mike Miller is an addiction therapist. He's not surprised by these videos. This is just a new twist on an old problem. That problem, drinking games and alcohol abuse. But these videos take it to a new level. Doing this alone with no one there, it is, it's a very high risk behavior and sort of seeing what you can get away with, it's a really modern form of Russian roulette. There have been at least five deaths linked to the game, all young men. And one of the reasons kids seem to have a sense of invincibility, that nothing bad can happen to them, is that it's really neurologically hard for them to conceptualize future consequences of today's behaviors. And while Haley claims she would never put herself in danger, she can see how peer pressure could lead to trouble. They put themselves in risk of hurting themselves because if they do pull it off, it's going to be awesome. But if they don't, it's not a good idea at all. Dr. Miller hopes games like this stop, but until then, he says talking to your kids about alcohol and subjecting yourself to those eye rolls is really the best way to help keep your kids safe. You just have to keep yeah. telling them. Educate them. Parenting is a tough job. It, it is. really yeah. is these days. Thanks, Thank you, Courtney. Courtney. Well,